Welcome back to School of Calisthenics. It's Tim and Jack, and we are with Chris Maxwell at Preston North End Football Club. Chris the is the number one goalkeeper here and nice. future number one Welsh international goalkeeper. And we're going to do some calisthenics. Yeah, um, Chris got in touch asking about whether we could come up and how we could use some of the calisthenics training to help him improve his shoulder robustness, stability, and movement options to help him as a goalkeeper. <laughs> You see where the, the hip is in comparison to the wrist and the, and the elbow. Whereas when Tim, rather than being so much on the outside, just shuffles his toes a bit, almost pushes the hip high and puts them more on his tricep. We're starting to now get yeah, those things stacked like on top of each other. Um, the other thing, hand, like rather than turning hands outside, try and keep the hands pointing forward, but just try and screw your wrist. Uh, sorry, so yeah, screw like your that. wrist and screw your elbow. Yeah, so you stay hands straight, but just screw in. Which helps to just stabilise the shoulder a little bit. It's just okay. like starting to engage that right, external so rotation. Yeah, then you, yeah, but when you do so, when you do bend, look your elbow. So bend your elbow goes backwards okay. rather than flaring out to the side. Okay. But now they're like close to armpit. Look how high the bum it is. Yeah. So when I want to go to that position right, and up, you're only pushing. I'm already in, further pushing in. Inch rather than yeah. You and you've got it. your hips on top of your shoulders rather than behind your shoulders, which is going to be hard. Is that yeah good? And then that little tiny little tip there. Goes. And that might be um, like we can do stuff on a more unstable surface to challenge us, but literally when the elbow is like in that crease there and just resting on the outside, okay, it's I'm not going to, no, no, it's not going to slip. That's easy, it's not going to slip off. Okay, well, from Whereas the this, to the back of that. this position higher up here is there's sort of less stability in terms of that can just fall off. Right. if I'm not strong through this front chain. So I'm trying to create all the strength and stability through this front side so that these can literally just hang yeah, on the outside. Easy. So we've, we've been practicing a little while. <laughs> <laughs> so keep the hands straight, but just screw so the elbow points backwards. There you go, that's better. There you oh. go. Next one, mate. So let's see. You jog on this one. You have to think about what you want to do before you take your knee off. So I'm going to try and go single leg off, which is going to be our progression towards then actually taking both off when we can transition. So before you start, before you move, just think about you've got to push down hard into the ground and there's a little bit more activation in the core because you're basically going to reduce part of your base of support. So you need to recreate that by pushing harder and stabilizing yeah. midsection. So I'm going to come in and balance. I'm just going to push hard into the floor, try and lift off. And stick it back on. If you've got a second one, the other side, and then back on. You've got to work harder for your shoulders to keep the force into the floor. Just do another one, Tim. Just watch his, watch his, his hip position. When he moves the leg, the hip doesn't, there's no movement backwards of the hip. Yeah. So it's keeping that like, you know, that forward tight. tip position that we were talking about. Just load the shoulders. Just think about keeping weight up and over. Get comfortable first. Don't rush it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. <laughs> we feel the. You, what I mean, as soon, what happened? As soon as you, you, you come in here, you took it off, and then just the weight of that leg was just pulling you. Yeah, it's all ass, isn't it? They say your ass is not moving, so it's going to. Fucking trainers, I'm telling you. Those heavy trainers, yeah, train them. <laughs> if you feel comfortable, you want to do the same thing. You can start playing on with leg on, leg off, but ultimately, you want to get to a point where taking leg off, hold. And again, you can see like I'm shaking, I'm putting some, yeah. some yeah. effort yeah. in. Face not right. Has it? <laughs> Why not you work? There's one thing that I really like about hand balance and stuff is, is uh, like being present in your practice. So there's a, there's a bit of every time you finish a rep, that evaluation of how was this, how successful was it, how well did I move? And you then start to wheedle out the, the movement patterns that are successful and those that yeah. aren't. So when you're in that position, you've got a great opportunity to take leg off and like summertime you're back here going, right, okay, that's not right. So you correct it, it went forward, and then there was a second when you balanced it. And then so the reflection on that is okay. Yeah. So to get that, I need to spend more time in that forward position so then you can refine that motor pattern. By the way, what have we been doing in 10 minutes and I can frog stand that? <laughs> right, Tim, you know I like to make things specific. To the individual. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying this out because I'm actually uh, I'm done as well. Well, the thing that the only the, that little like, toe off, um, sorry, toe touch works great. The only thing that sometimes uh, can be a downside to it is literally that the person puts the toe they're putting down. They almost put that down so much, rock back, and just use that leg 
yeah. and all of a sudden rather than my hip being high up there my hips drop back and then I'm working this strength here where that hips a little bit lower down so we're gonna, we can try going frog stand the, the foot that you're going to put down rather than putting on the floor it goes on the ball which is then nicely a little bit raised off the floor so my hip when I take off doesn't go any lower down and you can't line it too much because it's going to move about a lot yeah. so you've still got a little bit of that so you can keep your hip in the same position. Okay. There you go. Good, right, take it off and hold it for five. Come side on. You got five, four, three, two, one, breathe. <laughs> there you go, nice. So I'm straight to start with. Yeah, just a little, yeah, somewhere in there, if you can get that'd be great. Commit to the lead. One off and hold it. Tummy button in hard and push down. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, Chris, come on! That's better! <laughs> Push, yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Yes! Off and on! <laughs> yes! Wins! <laughs> From one of the things of position, like hand position, again, try and keep straight, but just screw from the shoulder to get that elbow back. And then when we're upside down, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a wall walk and just focus on trying to get long. Like when we said, like, what's your shoulder range like? No problem at all, but in that handstand, when you were like hands turned out a little bit like this, and then we were also sort of like arched through the back there, right, yeah. being able to push through. So that's where there's massive value for you yeah. in having that. Because at the moment, your shoulders are like, you brace, yeah. I'm just stronger here, so I'm just gonna stick yeah. there and arch back to get the elevation. Yeah. If you can right. do it here, yeah. shot this. Yeah. If you dive the top corner like that, yeah. you're not going to get, you need that, we need yeah. that range, we need that. And then that links to the connection. So if you can do that and you train that position, we link in the midsection. So when you're producing power out of the lower body, that's going to transfer through the chain into the shoulder, yeah. as opposed to potentially getting an energy leak. It'd be the same as if we go vertical jumping, we're getting knees coming together. Any sort of link, miss or weak link in the chain is going to lose energy. Yeah. We're going to use the wall for you to know where you're okay. nice and straight in that shape. So hands go on the floor like a press up position, use the wall, get your core on and your, and your bum on to try and at least work some stability through there so you're not rock and riding all over the place as you walk Get to use your glutes now. <laughs> get to use a joke. And then hands reasonably close to the wall, but they don't need to be right up to the wall line. And then point my toes up and bring them together just because you want to look nice. And then I'm going to actually push my head through and then also lift and so push my feet towards so the ceiling. So why are you pushing then using? What are you using? I'm using my arm, I'm using pushing down into the floor through my shoulders to lift up. Okay, so you're bringing this up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I get you. Yeah. So you just try and make your job is there to try and make yourself as long as possible. And, and then give us a drop into that shape. Yeah, so just give us a little push through, a hold at the top, drop in, push up. And then walk back out. Big crash mark behind me, yeah. <laughs> over reels here. Control it back. <laughs> they, are, they are hard to be fair, they are hard. Yeah, midsection tight. Good, hands there, that's straight. Good. Little hands yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. close to the wall. Back yourself. Stop you in, you won't go over the top. Toes, point toes up. Hands even yeah, closer yeah, to the point, yeah, go a little bit close to the wall. That's it, good. Make hands go a bit closer. <laughs> there you go, point your toes. Yeah, yeah. Lift, push your feet towards the ceiling, good. And then drop back in. Nice, strong in here as you come like that, walk that in, good, now walk it. There we go. Good, yeah, yeah, back into push-up, nice. I wish when I learned I'd gone more, more, because I spent so much time going over that, I just taught myself to be strong in a banana position. Try and get hands on the floor to start off with, because you can start with an accurate position. And then just that back leg, just using that as a kick. Come through, and the same thing, just locking the midsection rather than allowing yourself to arch in. So look how high it's, do the same thing, to watch how high these go. So you just create a leg yeah. through the chain, which has, do you know what I mean, we'll get back to talking about trying to reach to make yeah. it, say even a top corner, bottom corner, whatever it is, but we want I that I suppose if, if the, the length is there, then it's all around that centre of gravity, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Other than if we stick on the wall. There you go, yeah. so, good. And then, so let your feet be on the wall, <laughs> and then just think about pushing nice and high, make yourself long. There you go. Bum on, rib cage nice and tight. That's you now, nice and... Mm. Nice and straight. So try and put yeah, push your bum away from the wall a little bit. Come back down for a rest. <laughs> Feels alright though. Yeah, good. good. Rather than being like here, you sat. 
yeah. a bit like this. Like right, not okay. completely, but I thought you were doing your yoga sort of Instagram. That's, thing. Even, that's quite a good range yeah. for your jacket. Yeah. But we Don't want it, but it's like push the bum away from the wall and make that okay. long, long shape. And we'll do a little bit of like how to balance in there in a second, but Tim's gonna do. Good. Good. I'm gonna do this. So you know you've got it right if you've got a bit of connection in the middle section. So I should be able to hold, push Jacko's feet down. No, no separation in the middle, but the shoulders come off without that okay. angle changing. Yeah. Let's give it a crack. And then you're basically that position and transferring his hands down. So when you go upside down, you make hollow body and you be tight. Right. Just be careful. Sometimes when right. I do that, it makes me do a fire. <laughs> yeah, and I try and rock. So you're going to go onto your shoulders, onto your, and onto your hips. When you rock back, you know, use your abs to pull your bum off the floor. So. Mean? So, you can see here, it's clear as an E. Okay. And it comes from here. Yeah, there you go. go. Nice. Nice, there you go. Alright, you ready? Good. Nice. Alright, so back Strong. Up. Same thing, same goal. Strong core, yeah, fair play. There you go, good. Okay, so hips up on his hollow body position. That's the one. Good. There you go, it's pretty balanced. Nice. <laughs> That's good. I'll go again. And keep your feet on the. That's your. That was your. That's your Instagram yoga position. Then get the legs. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Hollow body squeeze butt. Locking that toy. Good. I just said. Yeah. And then the other one. There you go. Nice. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, tummy tight. Nice. Good. Perfect. Frog, I'm going to help you rotate your hips on top of your shoulders. So when we were doing the frog in a row, one of the things was just the difficulties of keeping them hips up rather than dropping okay. down. So in here, so rotate, we'll press, straighten legs. That's up, it. Up, 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 up. Straight to make yourself nice and long. There you go. All right. Keep squeezing tummy and bum. We're just a bit. Come back down. Good. Come so rotate. Good. Straighten up. Nice. Come to me, it's like the wall. Come to me. Come yeah, to yeah, me. that's it. Good. Okay, keep pushing. Lift up, lift up, lift up. There. Now, there, that's better. There you go. <laughs> yeah, could you feel that? Yeah. That was <laughs> 10 times different. It felt as if like there's just no weight. Yeah, I felt For like a I went from like, I was holding you up to then you felt weightless to me and yeah. then you were there. It's weird because yeah, I, I can't get it in my head how straight I am. Yeah. yeah.